This is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro with a water resistant cover. This is available at various retailers. The one that I got it from was from Costco Wholesale. I have a link down below if you're interested. This is, of course, the black version. They only come in black in the warehouse and uh, it comes with a Galaxy Pro with charging case, USB to USB-C cable, water resistant cover, and a little cheap little carabiner. Now, I haven't actually used the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro before, so this will be an interesting first look at this for me. And I'll primarily be testing it on a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 uh, Ultra. It has apparently two-way mini speakers for rich sound, active noise cancellation, and five to 18 hours of playtime, and it's IPX7 resistant, which means pretty much that uh, it'll be able to handle sweat for the most part unless you basically gush water out, you should probably be okay as far as durability is concerned. Now the packaging contents here, it looks like there's the earbuds left and right, charging case, three sets of earbud tips for various different uh, ear sizes, ear hole sizes, USB-C cable, water resistant cover, carabiner and, carabiner, and a quick start guide. Interestingly enough, this is made in Vietnam versus China nowadays. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. exactly as described, of course. This case actually feels pretty good, very durable, definitely very shiny, and feels very premium. I think this is a really nice addition, and particularly with a carabiner, this might help uh, prevent you from losing it as long as you clip it to something that is secure. Let's see about opening this up. All right, opening this lid up does require a little bit of fingernail, and I guess that would might be the only annoying part of this whole kit is that uh, this you really need to use your finger now to open it up. But this adds tremendously to the water resistance if you're traveling around with it. And it's a nice addition. While not as durable and super sturdy as an OtterBox, it definitely makes it you know lightweight. Um, I can feel a little bit of give as I squeeze down in here, but I'm using pretty good, uh, pretty good amount of effort in, in pushing in to actually feel that. Most people aren't gonna have a problem with the quality of this case. Nice silicone interior, keeps it from getting scratches. Of course, just the see-through exterior and a little bit of a Samsung logo down here inside. Now onto the buds themselves. They themselves are actually protected a little bit from scratches already by this piece of paper. And here we have the Samsung buds. It says sound by AKG and looks like it already has the indicator light showing that it's been charging, already charged. I gotta say, they feel exactly what I expected them to be. They're about the exact size I expected them to be as well. Uh, interior of the case, this feels like it could be potentially a little bit flimsy, but I think for most people it should be okay. You got the USB-C charging port back here and pretty much nothing else. There's a little bit of information down here that's really hard to see uh, unless you do a little close-up lens that probably gives some details about the charging case itself and how much charge it receives from the cable and USB-C power supply requirements. Here's the carabiner and looks to be slightly higher quality than I was expecting. And this should be more than sufficient to uh, hold on to your case and butts here. Now we have, of course, USB-C cable and three different ear tips in here. Ear tips are really, really small. Look at that. And the USB-C cable. Not the best quality, not too bad either. But you know, su sufficiently compact in size. And here are the tiny little ear tips here. Most people end up either never using these or sticking in the ones that they feel appropriate to the ear and then putting them away forever, forever to be lost. So I recommend just keeping the packaging for a little bit until you figure out what exactly your size they're gonna be for you. Nice little bit of shininess to this, makes them look a little bit more jewel-like. 
I wish the AirPods come in different colors uh, without customization and the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro do come in different colors. Of course, this is the black one, probably the most popular color because it's the most manufactured color uh, available. If you're interested in this product, please again, check out my link down below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will be putting this through some tests, but primarily my wife is gonna be using this for her Zoom calls and meetings, primarily uh, online for business and also for her students. All right, thanks for watching. Please give us a like, subscribe for more. Catch you next one.